Oh my god. Oh, yeah. 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 I feel like the vocals are a little too loud and maybe a little too. I sound like I'm in space or something. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. I don't know anything about reverb. Where are you taking it? Go there. Go there. Go with it. Follow the reverb. Should I be in a psychedelic rock band? Follow the reverb. And watch the. Watch the. All right. My name is Pat Bowman. I'm the guitar player for the Bowman Brothers. My name is Pat. I'm a nerd. I live in Tucson, Arizona. I'm going to play some songs for you. Thank you all. I play a lot of shows with people who play solo acoustic guitar music, and so if I see someone's about to do that, I'm like, well, you know, I might have seen something very similar to this before, but he totally blew me away, totally, he totally exceeded all of my expectations of what something like that is going to be like, I just, yeah. I love this set, and then Toy Cars followed it up yeah. with excellent, excellent, uh, just excellent electric rock and roll music, and then, and then these corn people came, and they... 
and they and they were not one person with acoustic guitar. They were two people with acoustic guitars, and they had and they, and they had wonderful songs. And then and then uh, then of course we had Teenage Halloween, an incredible emotional emotional hardcore band. That played. And then we had my old friend Brooke Pridemore, who I've just known him for so many years. We've been on tour together. It is great to play with him. It always is. Um, and then Mikey Erg from this amazing band, the Ergs. It's great. It's great to play with them. I think I got everybody. I'm pretty sure that was all the people who played. This has been an amazing show. Thanks to Luke and thanks to the house for having us. This is a song about repetitive things. On Mondays, I do the laundry at the 24 hour place next to the Dollar Tree. I know that I can walk, but gotta love to try. I thought about calling and asking forgiveness, but hell, I'm afraid of the dogs that I live with. I guess I'll take it one thing at a time. I thought about Jesse on Tuesday morning. Last I heard, he was still coked up in Portland. I could call and ask, but hell, I know he'd lie. Like my neighbor, he's got business. If you don't know about it, better keep your distance. Ain't no one on the street ever called a cop in their life. Da da da. Da 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 da. Da da da. Da da da. On Wednesday, red in the corner, drinking like he was already a goner. He said he liked to change and he could grow his spine. He said when he talked like that, it makes me real nervous. I told not be invite me to your funeral service. Throw down your fucking ships, it's life for keeps this time. Like on Thursday when he called and woke me up. I heard he started smoking crack again and got caught up. Catching cases, robbing houses just to stay alive. And so I hung up. I called Vanessa and I told him that I left the rent on the dresser. It wasn't even half the three weeks late this time. Da da da. Da 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 da. On Friday, I do the laundry at the 24 hour place next to the Dollar Tree. Past the neighbors reaching heaven with their trucks so high. I thought about calling and asking forgiveness, but lately I don't even know what that word is. I got police on my sick, cause they think it's a crime. Da da da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da da da. one in a while because I, I always feel kind of funny playing it not in a not like not in a full electric punk band but you know this show is pretty punk you know you pack in this basement you know Goddamn sure that we can never see the sun. You can set a watch by the 
the bottle returns to the ashtray to the blood on the floor. Now just drink the time when you're so damn poor. But the past is death row, and the future's a battlefield. I want to choose the right war. I've lost gains, which is super fucking bothersome. Let's just put it that way. Um, yeah. Yeah. Where I was starting to claw my gains back, I fucking started losing gains again. I'm fucking, my nose is still, oh my God. I'm not chugging um, ibuprofen like I was. So, like, the pain of this isn't as bad. I did blood work last week for another doctor, and my white cell count was elevated. Who would have guessed, huh? Act fighting, like, two active infections. My gastrointestinal system is still fucking just shaky. Shaky at best. So, forgive me if I disappear for a second. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, it's sort of where I am right now is... Ah, oh, my fucking sinuses, my nose. Now, even my sinuses. Th this, fine. It literally infected the end of my nose. Like, the lining of my nose was what, what it hit. Um, brutal. Fucking brutal. And, yeah, yesterday it all just sort of came to a, a head, and I just, I was sapped yesterday. I was just dead. I slept... <sighs> And slept and slept and slept and slept and slept. Increased white cells means uh, it, your body is responding to an infection uh, with her. That's what an in increased white blood cell count means. Um, or it could mean cancer. But given given the, the amount of infection <laughs> happening in my body, you know, when you hear hooves, think horse, not zebra. That's so. It's not a concern for me. It's, it's, it's active infection. Um, no, in fact, it means the opposite. Whether uh, when my body's actively fighting an infection, it's not busy murdering my uh, small uh, small fiber nerve cells. Ugh. Um, 
Yeah, that's how I actually know when I'm fully over an infection of some kind is the neuropathy will flare. Yeah, so when my neuropathy gets really, really bad one of these days, I will know my body has fully recovered and it's uh, uh, the autoimmune system has come back online and has nothing else to target. Welcome to my world. Oh, I was just... Um, I was just reading uh, some of Johnny Depp's testimony. I'm not a, uh, I'm not, you know, I'm not a celebrity person, but the Johnny Depp case is a, a thing. Um, it's a thing. Yeah. Hey, for twos. Uh, when the when the police are busy beating protesters, they make less broken light stops. Yes, that, if, yes. Uh, did I hear Brittany? Brittany is prego. Good for her. Uh, dude, that testimony is painful to watch. It feels so bad for her. Yeah, I read the t I read the testimony and then just watched a part of it. Um, don't worry, the glass is here. I just am finishing up out of this cup. Um, she's a cunt. Let's just put it that way. She's a cunt. Um, holy shit, that would explain a bit for me. Nerves acting up in my arms even after having done those nerve diagnoses for a couple of weeks. Yeah, well, there you go, Texas. Right. Um, good for yeah, good for Brittany. She's been wanting another kid. She's been what? She always wanted a big family. She always wanted a big family, and her horrible, horrible, horrible father, who I hope horrible things happen to. Um, <laughs> fucking, um prevented it so she doesn't have that much time left i mean she can adopt but she wants her own biological family and she's an autonomous human being she has that right so despite my my views on childbirth versus uh adoption um she has every right to do so as she sees fit and i'm happy for her um yeah uh Yes, yes. It's just, it's just. I have some leftover water in here, and you know, why let it go to waste? It is. It is good tech support. Uh, this won't be a very long stream. Um, yeah, I think Brittany in particular deserves the right to choose. She, she, she deserves the right to choose for sure. Um, I hope. I hope. I hope Amber Heard gets what's coming to her. The, what she did oh no no puka no um <laughs> uh what she did to johnny depp was fucked um and i you know i'd like to say it's the only time that that's happened but <clears throat> look hashtag cancel me i don't give a shit if you're a man or a woman or intersex look we shouldn't be believing people just because they say something. All right? Separate said parties. Ensure no further harm can happen. But just because somebody's got a fucking vag or a dick doesn't mean we should just automatically believe them when they say something. Okay? That's, that's not, it's not how the world fucking works. And Amber Heard should be a prime example of why you shouldn't just believe somebody when they say some crazy shit. Hey, Deirdre. Fucking. She, she, I mean. Jesus. This shit she did to him and got away with and then the rest of the world starts talking about him like he's the abuser? Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, yeah, yeah, dig. Yeah, 100%. 100%. She's a fucking, like, a representative of the Me Too movement in some aspect. She's, like, some official committee for some city or something appointed her chairwoman or, or spokeswoman or some shit like that. Yeah, Amber Heard is, in an official capacity, a spokesperson for the Me Too movement. Like, in some way, shape, or form. Meanwhile, she's a narcissistic, sociopathic, pathological case. 
Yeah, she's she's legitimately like she's she somebody fucking fucking knighted her or ordained her or whoever the fuck whatever the fuck. Meanwhile, she's the abuser in the relationship. Oh, dig. Good luck with that. Yeah, across the board. She's a horrible cunt, and I hope she gets what's coming to her. That's all I can say. Um, speaking of horrible cunts, uh, Dr. Oz. Uh, Do you see that Dr. Oz, um, his, his, some of his, not only, of course, is he being supported by, um, by um, fucking Mango Mussolini, um, his, some of his close donors are the DuPont family heirs. Oh, for those of you that don't know why that, why that should matter. Um, okay. Cause you probably heard of like DuPont, right? You're like, don't they make like chemicals or like floor cleaners or something? One of the DuPont heirs. Oh, let's just say the DuPont family gets up to all sorts of no good. But one of the more recent stories, Robert DuPont, I believe the fourth, um, when he um, was convicted in uh, 2009 of raping his two-year-old daughter, when Robert DuPont was convicted of raping his two-year-old daughter, the judge didn't put him in jail for the nine years that they were going to put him in jail for because in the judge's own words he wouldn't fare well in jail that's just one of the duponts the dupont family is kind of infamous they're horrible horrible people Oh, no, dig. Dude, the DuPonts have judges, senators, presidents in their pockets. Dude, the DuPont family is very wealthy. Very wealthy. Yeah. So, you know, Dr. Oz, uh, IRL villains. Yes, IRL villains. Like, for real. Um, Yeah, red. I'm glad you caught that red. Yeah, nine years for raping his two-year-old daughter. Um, they are old money. Yeah, they are old money. They're they're for the U.S. They're classified as old money tech. Yeah. Yeah. So Doctor Oz is being funded by the Duponts. He's he's um, endorsed by Donald Trump. He's funded by the Duponts. Yeah. Burner, thanks. Uh, I'd prefer exclamation sub next time, Burner. Again, uh, you know, thank you. Oh, it's Prime. Never mind. Never mind. I just saw that it was Prime, real Burner. Thank you for the Bezos bucks. I get it. Um, Dr. Oz is a child rape apologist then. Yeah, I mean, kind of. Yeah, kind of. I mean, he's okay with it, apparently. Dude, I, I wouldn't want DuPont money. I wouldn't want DuPont money. I'd be like, ooh, I mean, the best I could do, like, if you gave me DuPont money, I'd be like, well, we got to, like, give every last red cent to, like, some child charity of some kind. Like, we got to we gotta take care of, like, uh, sexually abused children with this money. Like, this is, th- th- you can't, you can't, you can't use a single red cent of that on yourself. If you use a single fucking cent of that DuPont money on on anything other than like helping children or like victims of, of chemical and cancer bullshit that DuPont has caused over the years, then you're fucked. Morally, ethically, you're fucked. Like straight to hell sort of situation. Yeah. I don't know who he's against. I don't, I don't, I don't know any for 
I was Catholic altar boy. I'll take that money from you. Tech support. But were you that kind of Catholic altar boy? Did you, did you? I mean, do you mind me asking? Did you get touched? Tech support? Did you get diddled? Did anybody make a pass at the very least? All right. There's that. Um, you know, you know me, I'll ask. I'd, I'd smoke, but I got to tell you, I'm hazy as it is. I, I'm, I'm already out of it. I, I can't smoke for this fucking stream. I'll end up fucking. So. I, Puka, it's stuff like this that makes me hope that there's a Judeo-Christian hell. Yeah, truly. It's, it's stuff like this that makes me wish that, like, God, I hope hell is real. I'm pretty sure I can argue my way out of any bullshit hell. Even if God would X, Y, and Z. Uh, no, but I did walk in on it, interrupting it once, and when the other priest heard from it about me, he swore that was... <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Weren't you... <laughs> this is fucked. Tech support, weren't you Weren't you pretty enough as a boy? See, that would, that's what, it would fuck with me. I'd be like, what, wasn't I good looking enough? What was wrong with me? Uh... Oh, Fetterman. He's going up against Fetterman? Oh, okay. Fetterman's actually kind of interesting. You were, you were too old. You were a teenager. Got it. Oh, not at all, Gemma. Not at all. Dude, Gemma, no. Thanks for the well wishes, but no, I'm fucking miserable. I've been miserable for like a week and a half. It's been one thing after another, man. Yeah, like Fetterman's at least interesting. Yeah. All right, well, yeah, I'll take Fetterman over Oz. Uh, I'm losing games. I'm fucking, dude, that's that's the part that's killing me. That's the part that's killing me is the fact that I'm losing games. I fucking fight for those games, and these kind of illnesses just set me back. Oh, fucking, I spend months and months and months struggling and scraping, right? And then, like that, kills me. Uh, why do you deserve to get into heaven? Yeah, look, I never raped anyone, never murdered anyone, and I've been pretty nice to most people. There's a lot more than a good chunk of your followers. That's a lot more than a good chunk of your followers have done. Exactly, Caboose. You gave me free will. I made a decision. Maybe it was the wrong one, but at least I wasn't a horrible douchebag. And by the way, is that Hitler back there? Go fuck yourself. I'm going to hell. Peace out. <laughs> Please forgive me. <laughs> you know, stupid fucking Christian rules. Um, I, I, you know, I, I don't. Uh, so y'all, y'all saw the fucking idiot Christians, right? On the plane. I talked about it yesterday on a VC with a few, a few of you. That shit would have put me on a no-fly list. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100% that shit would have put me on a no-fly list. This isn't some, like, I am a bad, very, uh, I am a badass sort of situation. It's just, I, dude, that would have pushed me over the edge. I'm already on a fucking flight and putting up with all sorts of bullshit, and I got some fucking cavalcade of dumbass evangelists fucking parading up and down the fucking aisle with a goddamn acoustic guitar, like it's fucking sing like sleepaway camp, fucking singing "Kumbaya, my Jesus" and shit, dude. I'd have gone off. I'd have gone off. Uh, it's not 420 for, mm, it is now. Okay. Okay. It is now. All right. Uh, happy 420 to you as well as Excel. While being not vaccinated, I bet. I know, right? Uh, yeah. Fucking dude. I'd have gone off. I know I would have. Just sit down. Shut the fuck up. Nobody wants to, dude, I'd have destroyed that guitar. Is that the fucking video with her? No. Oh, no, it's not at all. Um. 
Oh, yeah, no. Dude, a fucking um a mathematics t- a mathematics professor? No, um yeah, a mathematics professor. Um got got um enhanced security attention because he was doing differential equations on a plane and was brown. They some I'm not kidding you. Some woman fucking said he was writing ISIS or he was writing Al Qaeda. And he was it, it, like, I, I seem to recall that was the exact space. He's writing Al Qaeda, Al Qaeda over there. He was doing differential equations. It's like, oh, you fucking retards. I swear to God damn. Can we just not? Um, I, oh, somebody just the other day, a fucking coder. Um, uh, a dude who was doing, um, just website design. Not even a real fucking coder. He was just doing some website design. Dude, some fucking Karen came up to this guy doing some like basic scripting on his laptop and said he was hacking the plane and tried to get a fucking flight attendant to do something. And he's like, yeah, I'm not hacking the plane. She fucking, the first flight attendant walked away. Obviously like, oh, I'm out of here. Like just, I'm not paid enough to deal with this shit. This dumb fucking cunt of a Karen fucking apparently darted to the back of the fucking plane and comes up with another fucking flight attendant after she claimed to have been a security expert. And the guy turns to her and says, then tell me what I'm doing. What? Tell me what I'm doing. You're a security expert. Explain to the uh, explain to the flight attendant what I'm doing. Well, I'm a manager. I don't get into the trenches. Hmm, interesting. But you're certain that I'm hacking the plane's soft flight software. He was he was designing a website. He was just scripting. That's it. I am so sick and tired of dumb people. I'm so sick and tired of dumb people. And you better goddamn believe I uh, I count Christians in that group. Also Muslims, Jews, Devout Hindus, Buddhists that let people starve on the side of the street because it's their karmic fucking destiny. Fuck all these religious people. They're all responsible in the shared retardation and holding back of human development and progress. I'm fucking done. I'm fucking done. And anybody who defends them, fuck you too. Anybody who defends this nonsense, you can go fuck yourself too. You're also part of the shared responsibility for the bullshit that this species has been put up has been putting up with for millennia now. Get over your stupid superstitions and get with the fucking program. Fucking sick of these idiots. People that can't even fucking identify a differential equation thinking that they've just spotted the next Al-Qaeda terrorist. Fucking morons. Stupidity's the number one killer. You know that, right? It's not fucking governments. It's not fucking pandemics. It's not fucking war. It's not pestilence or war or famine. It's fucking stupidity. Stupidity is our number one killer. Fucking dumb people. <laughs> I have a song of Hobson playing in my mind. Raised on 24 in the Siege, funded by Patriot Act Fear Conferences. Yep. And I mean, there's equivalents to that all around the world. You go to fucking India and you've got that BJP Modi shit. You go to China and you've got the fucking CCP fucking, I got these absolute idiots that are like, yeah, this is fucking, yeah, this works. You know, you've got fucking imperialists in Japan and shit. You got fucking bogans in Australia. You got fucking nor- like uh, northerners and fucking uh, even the elitists in London and f- uh, in the UK. You got fu- it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Just stupid fucking people holding us back. Oh yes, the willfully ignorant. Zippy. It's not even, I don't even mean willfully ignorant. I mean actual stupid people. Like. No, no, no. That was, that was Gemma. 
imperialists in Japan, stupid fucking bogans in Australia. That's a comma. That's a comma. Come on. I'm not calling bogans imperialists. I'm just doing a tour of the world of fucking retards. Fucking retards of the world unite. And if you got a problem with my fucking usage of that word, well, fuck right off. I don't care. Uh, Gemma, I'm sorry. I'm sick. I'm in pain. I'm just, and I'm on a fucking rant. So sorry if there's any crossfire. Keep your fucking heads down. <laughs> uh, the secret fifth rider of the apocalypse. Stupidity. Oh, I do like that. We should actually include that. I should actually, we should actually include that. There's f five riders. Three inches of what is three inches a lot? Three inches of what? Three inches of TNT? Three inches, yeah, three inches of snow, three inches of water. Three inches of fucking, you know, c cobra. Three inches of fucking dick. What are you talking about, motherfucker? Specificity. It's everything in this world. And you're not being specific. So that means you're nothing. Oh, yeah. It's going to be one of those kind of nights, motherfucker. Strap in. Fucking. A three-inch clit. Speaking of stupidity, I've got my body clock all tangled, so going to do a hecking lurk in bed for a bit. I hope your day, week, lifetime improves. Gemma, Gemma, enjoy your lurking in bed. And I sure hope it does. God, I sure hope it does. It did your long night, bitch. Oh, thank you, Cassie. But I mean, that's just that rant alone just fucking sapped a bunch of energy out of me. I could feel it. Oh, I could feel it. Oh, um, just if you're ca in case anybody's wondering. Just in case you're wondering, um, fucking, uh, let's see, just how a look at the war propaganda works. Oh, uh, per just perfectly. Oh, he's here in Germany. People are much dumber than the pandemic already showed. Yep. Um, maybe it's a hand blown piece by an artisan. So it is a mighty big oil lamp. Anyway, so in the final days of Roe v. Wade, because let's face it, the Supreme Court's going to hear a case in June that's going to likely determine the outcome of Roe v. Wade moving forward. I'm just going to list uh, 21 states. This is where you shouldn't be living. Just, just so you know. Just so you know. If you're, if you, if you have a uterus, all right. If we have a uterus. Alabama, Arizona, Arkansas, Georgia, Idaho, Iowa, Kentucky, Louisiana, Michigan, Mississippi, Missouri, North Dakota, Ohio, Oklahoma, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, West Virginia, and Wisconsin. These are all states with um, like uh, um, trigger bans for abortion already on the books. In case you missed any of them, Alabama, Arizona, Arkansas, Georgia, Idaho, Iowa, Kentucky, Louisiana, Michigan, Mississippi, Missouri, North Dakota, Ohio, Oklahoma, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, West Virginia, Wisconsin. Don't live in these places. Don't live in these places. That's that's the best thing I can do is tell you at this point. Hey, Joe. Dig, you're fine. Nevada's fine. Dude, Dig, you're in one of the most, despite it being like a purple state, Dig, um, um, 
we're one of the most progressive states in this country. 100%. Uh, we even have um, Medicaid coverage of gender affirming surgeries and um, hormone treatments. So, like, if you're broke as fuck, can't afford any health care whatsoever, Nevada will cover your gender reassignment surgery. They will cover your testosterone or estrogen. Um, they will, yeah. We live in one of the most progressive states as far as, like, gender affirmation and that sort of thing goes, or, or like, you know, uh, uh, abortion rights goes, all of that sort of stuff it, Nevada is astoundingly progressive when it comes to this sort of thing it's bad for business otherwise yeah Do, going the other way is bad for business for us so they're not gonna Bardo wants to implement the don't say gay bullshit here if he's elected oh fucking A Ugh. um yeah Joe Yeah, at least it's lib right, not author right. Yeah, that's that's basically what it boils down to. Um, again, don't live, honey. Don't live in a fucking shit state. I I can't like I can't help beyond that at this point, dude. South Dakota is a non-state anyway. It shouldn't even exist. So half these fucking states shouldn't exist. South Dakota is a long lost cause. That's dude. It's a long lost cause. Oh, I didn't even know what the fuck that was, tech support. I just had to look that up. I didn't even know what the fuck that was. Interesting. Hmm. We're going to put that on the server. We'll have instructions on that in the info store. Yeah. Also, um, cool. Dig, it's at home abortion. It's like DIY at home abortion. Fascinating. I had no idea that it even I yeah. yeah. Tech support. Thanks for bringing that up. Thanks for bringing that up. I had, I I had never even heard of that before. Oh yeah, Republicans are going to win the midterms. Um, Republicans are going to win midterms. Um, and um, Biden, uh, Biden has apparently, uh, uh, according according to sources. Um, Biden told Obama on a phone call that he's planning on running for a second term because he believes he's the only one that can beat Trump if he runs for a third time. So, you know. Caboose, all he has to do is cancel student loans. He'd win. If Biden canceled student loans, we'd be done. The, the, it'd just be his victory. Yeah. That's true, Jen. 
It's a hundred percent true. Or decriminalization of weed. Do we can't get it past the Senate. It's dead in the water in the Senate. It passed the house. No problem, but it's, it's just stalled in the Senate because senators are all a billion years old. Um, so, and they're all beholden to big pharma, police, prison, industrial, con, military, and, uh, blah, 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 you know the deal. What 990? What's up, 990? Um, no. Nah. Uh, do I have any? I'll save that. I'll save that. I'll save that. <laughs> I have some screenshots that are hilarious. Uh, uh, from a pro-life group, the admin of the group, uh, locked it down and said there will be no more posting of, uh, of women preaching or talking about the Bible on this site as it is not bi uh, biblically appropriate. And there's a bunch of fucking women, um, bunch of fucking women. You're disgusting for excluding women. Pro-life centers around women and you remove our voice. You remove our true support. You're not pro-life. You're pro-control. Show me in the Bible where women can preach. First Timothy's chapter two, uh, chapter, t uh, uh, verse, uh, yeah. Chapter two, verse 12. First Timothy's chapter two verses, verse 12 basically tells women to shut the fuck up. It, it I'm not kidding you. Um, Timothy two twelve. There we go. Um, I do not permit a woman to teach or to assume authority over a man. She must be quiet. First Timothy chapter two, verse 12. It's biblical. <laughs> so, ladies, thanks for being the first to witness and report the resurrection. We'll take it from here. Let your women be silent in the church. Uh, fucking, <laughs> yeah. Um, hey, Gemma, I'm just quoting the book. I'm just quoting the book. Don't blame me. You know. It's, you know. I've used I've used Timothy two twelve before to tell a woman a, a, a biblical woman that was um, um that was back in the Podbean days. I was in a religious argument with this woman on the air, and she she, she was condemning me for being a queer. She was con condemning me for laying with another man, and I told I told her to shut the fuck up. You're not allowed to talk to me that way. And she said, "How dare you speak to me that way?" I said, "No, I'm quoting the Bible, First Timothy two twelve." You're not allowed to tell me what to do. You're a woman. You're inferior to me, even though I lay with another man. So shut the fuck up. She started crying. And screaming. It's kind of both. It was a fun day. Don't blame me. Don't blame me. Your book's insane. <laughs> creaming <laughs> and Kai crackle cackles in queer. Yeah. Like don't blame me. Your book is insane. Uh, no cupcake. No, that was on somebody else's air. That wasn't even my air. That was on this dude who, um, had, um, like, um, he had a podcast about unsolved crimes. It's like a true crime podcast. And I was on his air and this woman started fucking berating me because I was gay. And I was like, can I just handle her really quickly? And he's like, yeah, sure, go for it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I just fucking shut her down. Yeah, it, was so, it wasn't even my air. Um, Exvangelist. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus, Marcus. Yeah. 
Like, it's like, don't blame me. Your book is batshit insane. Your book fucking advocates for incest and rape and genocide and murder and also is full of misogynistic bullshit. So just because I have, just because I've got like the, you know, ball and tackle between my legs basically means based on like biblical tenets and law, I'm superior. Don't ask me. I mean, from what I understand, if I just stop fucking dudes and, you know, like praise Jesus and convert, I'll be fine. I'll still, I'll always be superior to women. Even, even in my sinful form. It's fucking insane. The book's batshit insane and people defend that nonsense. Fuck Christianity. Fuck Islam. Fuck Judaism. Fuck all that nonsense. The Abrahamic religions are toxic as fuck and are responsible for the deaths of millions, if not probably a billion at this point. It's fucking ridiculous, the numbers that they put up. I don't think they'd hit a billion, but they definitely... They can talk They can talk tens of millions for sure. I don't even think you have to stop fucking dudes as long as you accept Christ before you die. Oh, I'll accept Christ. <clears throat> I know this one dude, Jesus. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Anyway, what? Hmm? What were we doing? Forget what we were talking about. Um, traditional interpretations of Buddhism are like that, too. Women are spiritually inferior to men. Hmm. Who would have guessed? I, I, have no, I have no respect for any of this stuff. It's all just control mechanisms. Religion is the original government. I have no respect for it. They're just laws of man. So fuck them. Oh, you really should try and get your way, uh, get all the way through the Bible dig. It's insane. I mean, if you're like into like high fantasy and like sci-fi and really, really perverted shit, um, Bible's a decent read. I mean, it's not well put together. It's okay. It's kind of a mishmash, but you know. It's worth reading. Also, it gives you a ton of weaponry. ton of weaponry. I fucking hate Christians. I'm okay with followers of Christ, but it's rare I meet a follower of Christ. You show me that you're walking in the footsteps of Christ, and I'll show you somebody I can respect. You show me a Christian, and I'll show you somebody I'm probably not a fan of. So... Fair enough, Axel. Fair enough. There's far better books anyway. All of Terry Pratchett's stuff. All of Terry Pratchett's stuff is worth reading before the Bibble. Yeah, get to Terry first. Douglas Adams, Neil Stevenson, Terry Pratchett. Fucking, there's so much, so much better stuff to read than the Bibble. Think of it like a short story anthology in the Old Testament holds up. Yeah, no, it is it is sort of an anthology, isn't it, Gemma? A anthology designed by committee committees of misogynistic, homophobic, murderous, genocidal, incestuous, weirdo, rapist committees. Anyway, um Just that entire book is just fucked. That entire book is just fucked. Revelations is fun. Lots of creatures. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Slave owners. Yeah, I forgot the slave. So much slavery. So much slavery. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so much slavery. So. Yeah. Like I said, fuck Christians, but also fuck Jews, fuck Muslims, fuck devout Buddhists, fuck Hindu nationalists, fuck, fuck, fuck them all, fuck them all. They're all equally responsible for the retardation of human progress. The reason that we don't have universal health care, them. The reason that we don't have a moon base already. 
them. The reason that there's untold amounts of genocide, them. I, I have nothing but contempt for that. Nothing. And I'm not even an atheist. <laughs> Imagine if I were an atheist. Um, <laughs> Jesus, Sippy. <laughs> it's not even the Hebrew origin story, Gemma. It's all fucking ripped off North African shit. It's all shit that's been... Dude, this is Sumerian and ancient Egyptian and fucking... It, dude, it's... Why do you think I've gone full anti-theist lately? <laughs> yeah, dude, they're fucking... Yeah, it's not even... It's not even like the Hebrew origin story. It's Most of it's just fucking told and retold shit that we've been telling since the beginning. None of it's OG. None of it's OG. It's all, like... Doth and fucking Horus and shit. Jesus is Horus. Which, I mean, if it's Horus, chances are there's a Sumerian equivalent to that as well. So, I just don't know it off the top of my head. Catholic Church is the biggest, uh, the longest lived, most evil entity in the history of the world. Um, I don't know. Some of those didn't it also rip the Gilgamesh? It's all fucking stolen material, man. It's all stolen material. I don't know. Some of those ancient ones, Deirdre, might be in the running, but as far as, as especially as far as like a uh, common era. Yeah, yeah, the Chinese Empire is, it gets a fucking run. Yeah, there's there's a few like ancient Egypt as well, definitely has some um, things to say. Remix, it's all remix. Yeah, what for two said. Don't say Horus, the creepy Warhammer 40k guys will come here. <laughs> real, real, real burner. Don't worry, I won't say it a third time. You have to say it three times and then they, they... I'd laugh at the Sumerian version of Gozer as portrayed in Ghostbusters. <laughs> oh. Dude. Wait, what? Oh, the Zoroastrian thing? Dig? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look up Zoroastrianism. It's hilarious. It's my um, Rick Moranis for the win. Um, you know the, um, the, the, the party scene, Deirdre, where um, the Rick's Rick Moranis' character does the like poorly attended party and he does all... That's all, that's all ad-libbed. Rick Moranis is just, there's no script for that. Rick Moranis is just ad-libbing that entire scene. Go back and rewatch it. Totally worth wa watching, understanding that Rick Moranis is just flying by the seat of his pants during that scene. It's really kind of fun then. Ah, uh, hey, Will Alexander. Sorry I'm not giving you the enthusiasm I normally do. I'm just, just not feeling well. <laughs> Every month, a new pair of on D fesh boxers for only nine pounds ninety nine. Every month, do you uh, do you love to just mow down undercooked fesh every goddamn every goddamn day? Salmon, cot, crab, yosters. Just get yourself a pair of these on de fresh uh, on de fish boxers. They they got unique ocean patterns and paintings of D fesh every month. Jesus Christ, Will Alexander. <laughs> thank you, man. Thank you for the biddies, but thank you more more so for the writing. <laughs> I get I, I, I feel bad. Caboose, I feel bad when I get snippy with him and uh, uh, fucking Karina when they start geeking out about fucking Warhammer and I just fucking snap. Like, 
Oh, I'm sick. Well, Alexander, dude, I've, I've, I had like a gastro thing and then a sinus infection and they just sort of stacked and I'm not recovering and I'm losing gains for my workouts and shit like that. I'm shedding weight. I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm sort of demoralized and I'm sick to boot, right? <laughs> Thank you, Zippy. You're hot. Yeah, I feel like shit, but you look good. So that's all that matters. Um, very, very, very American outlook. Um, yeah, so there you go, Alexander. I'm just not well physically and a little bit emotional, like mentally. I'm just not on my game. Also, Easter Ghostbusters movie pitch. They travel back in time to the time of Christ's resurrection, cross the beams, job done. <laughs> um, yeah, Freddie Mercury was, what was Freddie Mercury? Freddie Mercury was something. He, 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 yeah, his family was something. It was, yeah, he wasn't British. Fucking, what, what was he? He was from Zanzibar. He was Parsis. He was Parsis. It's an ethno religious group uh, that speaks Persian in the Indian subcontinent whose religion is Zoroastrianism. So he's, yeah, he's, he's Pars, he's Parsi Indian. So there you go. Well, Alexander, thank you. I don't like, I don't like fesh. I'm not a big fan of fesh, but I'll, I'll look for that first trial box of fesh fr from your new service and I'll keep those protein gains up, my man. Who did the bongo bongo land non-binary? I forget which one of y'all politicians did the bongo bongo land. Which one of y'all did that? On the fish boxers. Ah, underwear. Uh. Berlusconi. Oh, uh, it was Johnson. Okay, it's Boris. What did he say? Bongo Bongo Bongo. I mean, credit where credit's due, it's funny at least. I can't believe he actually said it though, that's insane. I love fucking, and they never, they, nobody lets it die. That's hilarious. Um, fucking looking forward to Boris Johnson's first trip to Bongo Bongo land. Oh. Uh, Jesus Christ, Boris. <laughs> kinetic, uh, kinetic, uh, kinetic, sorry, kinetic. I'm ill. I'm ill. Uh, Bunga was Berlusconi. Okay, Bongo Bongo was Johnson. Bunga was Berlusconi. Okay, got it. You got to keep your racist, uh, racist epithets uh, delivered by a European politician straight. Um, and and shitholes was Trump. Bongo Bongo Land was was Johnson. Bunga 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 Land was Berlusconi, and Shithole was Trump. So 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 we know. Yeah. Was it Shit House? Was it? No, no. He called them. Not from what I'm seeing here, Zippy. He he referred to Haiti and El Salvador directly as shithole nations. Uh, shithole countries. Shithole countries. 
He referred to Haiti and African nations. Jesus Christ. He referred to Haiti, El Salvador, and African nations as shithole countries during a meeting with a bipartisan group of senators at the White House. Jesus goddamn Christ. Oh, yeah, definitely. No, I'd, I'd 100% watch a fucking movie with uh, The Rock as Foucault. Johnson said towel head or towel, a Taliban or coming from Bongo Bongo land. Uh, oh. <laughs> How old is, does somebody do the math? I don't feel like searching. How old is Donald Trump and Joe Biden? How old are Donald Trump and Joe Biden going to be in 2024? If they both run for president, somebody, somebody make me really, really depressed. Come on. Somebody give me the number. I'll wait. Um, diapers, dude, they're already in diapers age. Trump will be 77. Biden will be 81. That feels younger than what I expected. Older than dirt, but not as useful. 79 says cupcake. And I'm, I'm prone to trust cupcakes researching. Wait, he was born in 1946. He'd be 78. June. June. Um, so he'd be 78. He'll be 78. Y'all's math sucks. Uh, and then Biden is November. He'd be 82. Yeah. Who got 82 on Biden? 81. No, it'd be 81. Either way. Yeah, you want it? Here, I'll fucking do it. We're fucked. We're absolutely fucked. I mean, imagine. 80, fucking 80 year olds. It's just 80 year olds. 80 year olds, man. Oh, we can. We can, Gemma. We can. We just, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh. oh, um, for two, we already automatically retire uh, government employees at 65. If you work for the federal government, um, you have an automatic retirement age of 65 in this country. Except for the president and senators and Congress people. If you're a politician, nothing. But if you, you know, work in any other capacity, 65, you're out. Yeah. Send help, please. Oh, yeah, and Supreme Court judges, yeah. Also, if you happen to be a rapist, seems to be a, a, a qualifier for a Supreme Court judge. We've got a couple of those. Uh, <laughs> non binary. Uh, yeah, no, caboose. They just keep getting older and older and older and older. Yeah. Yeah. We're fucked. 
we're fucked. We're fucked. I I I, I wish I could. I I wish I could fucking state my mind and state my opinion. We're going to reverse Roe v. Wade. We're going to reverse Hastings. We're going to roll back the last 30 years worth of progressive policies in this country. We're going to deregulate most of our industries, the ones that we haven't already have. Che, yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, but progress is inevitable, right? Yeah, no, it's not. <clears throat> Non-binary. Any ruling of the Supreme Court can be done and undone with another ruling of a Supreme Court decision. If it is not law, it doesn't matter. It's that simple. A previous Supreme Court's uh, ruling can be undone by a current Supreme Court's ruling. It's that simple. None of that matters. None. We'll undo love versus Virginia. Which we will do, by the way. There's already Republicans advocating for it. Hastings is what allows gay people to not be arrested for sodomy in this country. And Love v. Virginia is what allows for interracial marriage. And there's already Republicans that have spoken out against it. Today. Right now. Contemporary. They're coming for them. Get the fuck out of your shithole states. Get ready for balkanization. Because you don't want to be in these places. They will be killing kids. They already are. Don't live in Virginia. Don't live in Alabama. Don't live in Missouri. Don't live in Mississippi. Don't live in Arkansas. Don't live in Tennessee. Don't live in fucking Florida. Don't live in Texas. Don't live in fucking X, Y, and Z. Fuck these states. Get ready for balkanization. Get the fuck out while you can. Do what you can to get the fuck out. Wither, you're young. Just hop a fucking bus and start your life over. I know you got family and you feel attacked. Homie. Generations have shown up on the shores of this fucking country as 14-year-old paupers, just poor fucking 13-year-olds from Ireland and shit with literally nothing in their pocket have shown up on steamer ships to this fucking country and started a life. Don't ever let anybody tell you you can't. Just hop a fucking Greyhound bus to San Francisco and get the fuck out. Congratulations, not by me. Get the fuck out while you can get out of the south get out of the midwest now start planning start making contacts don't resign yourself to be oh i'm fucked no this country is fucked you're not the only way you're going to be fucked is if you resign yourself to it especially if you're fucking 18 to 25 you got your entire fucking life ahead of you handle your shit congrats on that i just 
Meanwhile, you got the idiots like Dylan Burns out there who are going to get you killed. He's going to get people killed. He's going to get people, pil- people killed. Oh, if only we elect the right people, we can hold the line. Meanwhile, they're hooking fucking kids, uh, the fucking like gay kids and trans kids, nuts and fucking labias and shit up to car batteries in Utah. Yeah. Oh, no. Electroshock therapy is a very real thing and has been uh, in conversion centers in Utah has been documented. It has very well been documented using electroshock fucking therapy in Utah and the Mormon conversion centers where they will fucking hook a gay dude's genitals up to a fucking battery and show uh, show him erotic porno, uh, erotic images. And if he gets ex- is sexually excited, they fucking zap him. Shit's for real. That shit's for real. That shit's been documented. Meanwhile, we got fucking statist assholes out there fucking talking about how, oh, if only we get the right people elected, we can hold the line. Homie, the line's already been overrun. We're fucking talking about the lives of trans and gay and fucking mar- and women and fucking young girls, fucking eight-year-olds getting raped by their fucking weird incestuous fathers. The line has been overrun. It's time to start having the conversation about what we do next. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. I don't care if you got to fucking sell every last thing you have and hop a fucking Greyhound bus. Get that fucking one-way bus ticket to fucking wherever it is that isn't a shithole on this fucking earth. I don't care where it is. New York City, San Francisco, Las Vegas, fucking Los Angeles. Fucking, it doesn't, Burlington, Vermont. It doesn't fucking matter find a place that isn't an utter absolute shithole and get going fast because this shit is happening as we speak good on you non-binary do it and duly noted hey lexi and yeah yeah, the ones who say we can help fucking slow it down or stop it and fucking if only we get the right people elected. I consider them to have blood on their hands as well. They're part of the problem. That's why I say things like Dylan Burns is a fucking fed. He's a politician who's only in it for his ego and gain, his own fucking gain. And he's out there getting people killed. Shit like that gets people dead. This is not a time to be talking about how fucking... Oh, if only we elect the right person. Dude, DeSantis is coming for your trans kid. Abbott is coming for your trans child. They want to take your child away from you and put them in the corrupt criminal foster care system of this country, which is the number one predictor for criminality and mental health issues in this nation. You understand me? That's what they're coming for. They want to criminalize you as the parent who dared allow your child to be who your child is. And they want to force your child into a life that they don't feel comfortable living and into a system that is almost nearly guaranteed to rape, sexual assault, fucking drive them into a life of crime, criminality, and basically end their life. But hey, maybe we might get the right person elected next cycle. Fuck these people. They mean these children and these parents direct, real, tangible harm. Okay? I've read these fucking people's manifestos on air. They want you dead. They want you fucking dead. They're just, some of them just aren't saying it, saying it outright. Some of them are. Some of them are straight up saying it. They want you fucking dead. There is no alternative, Exol. That's the point. We crossed the line. The battle has begun. The war has been started. The, the shot has been heard around the world. Motherfuckers' brains are on the goddamn sidewalk. There is no short-term alternative. Get the fucking program going. 
They want your fucking kids dead. Do something about it. Fuck these states. You love, do you love your kid? Get the fuck out of Texas. There's no short-term alternative to this. It's time to fucking get the fuck out. You remember when the Ukraine war started and people were fleeing to the border? What happened if you didn't flee to the border? Shit started exploding around you. That's next. And it's already started in Texas. Abbott's already started going after parents of trans kids. That's already started in Texas. There is no short-term solution or alternative. Sell your assets, move out of state, do what it takes. If you have to have a huge reduction in fucking lifestyle, you have to have a huge reduction in lifestyle. Oh no, we're a two-parent household. No, I didn't, Zippy. Oh no, we're a two-parent household with a child who's living in a single-bedroom studio, and it's terrible. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Do you still have your child? Yes. Is your child not been put into, like, foster care? No. Cool. Who cares, then? You'll recover. You'll scrape by. Love, household, familial love will get you through the tough times. Yeah, better to have a reduction of lifestyle than a lack of one. <clears throat> the chuds get to say the quiet part out loud, and I fully expect another ban for hate speech for this VOD when we, when we talk about reality. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll probably catch an, a fucking... I'll probably catch a fucking indefinite ban for this, for pointing out that the fucking right is actively coming out and harming children. Yeah. No, because I don't accept whispers. Um, send it to a mod... Klepto. Send it to a mod. Uh, mod, somebody, somebody fucking, somebody, one of the mods say hello and Klepto DM them. I don't accept, I don't accept DMs. Um, there you go. I 100% expect it. Yeah. It's so the last time I pointed this out, I got an indefinite man. Familial love. What are you, Protestants? Uh, you dropped it in politics. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I don't... I watch one bow video a year, maybe, Zippy. I don't care. I, I don't care. I don't watch other people's content. I like... I, thank you, but I'm not going to watch it, probably. <laughs> probably not. Um... When the media spreads hate for 20 years, hate spreads. Yeah. I, I, I just... What do you want? At a certain point, it's time to start stalking realities. And the reality of the situation is... These crazy fuckers are coming for your kids. In more ways than one. Um... Okay, there's multiple people talking about the same Air Force thing then. Fucking, apparently the Air Force, the, the Chair Force as I prefer, is um, any fi military families with trans and gay kids at, are going to uh, give them the possibility to relocate and giving them lawyers. Good. I mean, the Chair Force is the more, most progressive out of the military uh, uh, military branches, and the military has always been an uh, a, uh, a mechanism for social change in this country, whether people want to admit that or not to themselves. Um, fuck these towns, dude. I, you know what? I think Disney should move from Orlando. It'd be impossible to do. I think it'd be imp it, it'd be impossible to do. It'd be impossible to do. I think Disney should just be like, you know what? We're leaving Florida. 
What? Yeah, it's going to cost us a hundred billion dollars, but we're leaving Florida. It'd be hilarious. Or just buy Florida. <laughs> Probably easier to do that. It's probably easier just to buy Florida. Disney could probably do it too. Square. Do I dare talk about it? Do I dare talk about it? I'm not going to go there. Not tonight. Not in my current state. <sighs> Headline news. Disney buys all the banks in Florida. Is this a sign of the times? More news at 11. Um, <laughs> Non-binary. Um, thank you, Clever. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Um, yes. It is a square. I agree. Um, also, square, per your statement about how the left, I don't think the left understands we're at war and some groups need major representation more than others. I'm going to suggest something that could get me just flat out canceled. And a few of you probably could hate me. We pushed, we pushed too hard, too fast. We pushed too hard, too fast. <clears throat> we, we made too many demands too quickly. Look, I get we're talking about people's lives. I get we're talking about people's intrinsic humanness. I'm not attempting to marginalize or minimize. I'm not saying that these things shouldn't be done. But there was bound to be reaction to action. This is physics. And we didn't account we didn't take into account the reaction to our action. We didn't have the next play ready. And we dropped the ball. Because we were trying to get a lot done in a little. And they did a little in a lot. And one of these causes reactions and the other one causes small minute reactions that you can moderate and manage and we didn't do that we didn't prepare for the reaction we didn't even plan for the reaction we didn't even perceive the reaction we went from plan A onto plan B onto plan C onto plan D onto plan E, not even thinking to pause between plans, to take a breather, to, to survey the landscape and see how it's changed. And in that moment, a hundred years worth of prep work on the conservative movement from the conservative movement came to bear. A, a program that had been used, that had targeted the, the correct demographic, because the fact of the matter is, is that 
What is the entire last chapter of Rules for Radicals about? The entire last chapter is whether you hate them or not, the moderate, cisgendered, heterosexual white in this country is not, uh, is the person that you're going to have to seek out. This is your ally. This is the person who's the dominant force in our political spectrum. Whether you hate that fact or not, that doesn't change it. Whether it should be that or not, doesn't change it. You can't deny the truth of a battlefield. And we have spent the last three decades denying the truth of the battlefield to ourselves. I'm not even going to say three decades, two decades. Two decades. We have spent the last two decades denying the truth of the battlefield to ourselves. With some bleed over into the 90s. We didn't see the reaction coming for some reason. I know I can point to a couple of reasons we didn't see the reaction coming. But we didn't take into account that pendulum swing. And we just took it in the fucking teeth. That pendulum swing just came back and it smacked our fucking front teeth right out. And we're facing down Roe v. Wade. We're facing down Hastings. We're facing down Love v. Virginia. We're facing down Hastings v. v Texas. We're facing down Hastings v. Virginia. Uh, Love v. Virginia. Uh, we're facing down a whole bunch of shit. They are going to push all the way back to the 60s with her. This isn't the 60s. No, they want it to be, though. This system is rigged. This system is controlled. The system's dominant forces are not the progressives. They never have been. And because we failed in so many aspects, planning for action and reaction, planning for the astroturfing, planning for the corporatocracy, planning for the bad faith actors, planning for the misinformation, disinformation, dissemination via new methodologies, Taking into account our own optics. Taking into account what is tolerable, what is intolerable, what is too much of an ask, what is an appropriate ask. A lot of this is on the left. A lot of this is on progressives. Because we were the bulwark. A hero's job... A hero's job is to die if necessary, right? That's, that's the task at hand. A hero's job is to run into the burning building and save the children, save the disabled grandmother, save the kitten, even if that means you get fatal smoke inhalation. We didn't do a hero's job. We wanted the title of hero. But we didn't do the job to earn the title. Some people did. Don't ever let me take that away from some of those people. Some people did. But some, in this instance, is proving not enough. And... It's going to get bad. It's going to get bad. It's going to get bad. Strap in. If you're an American right now, we set the tone on a global scale. You know that, right? This will empower not just people across our nation. This will empower people in the UK. This will empower people in Russia. This will empower people across Europe and China.
we <clears throat> we stretched ourselves too thin we worked on too many fronts we defocused our attention and we didn't plan for the reaction and now we're fighting an optics war we're losing It's a bitch to watch decades worth of progress slide back in a couple of years. It really is. For the young ones, see, for the, the, the age of like Wither, this is a different tone. For somebody in like Cassidy, my age or above, all of the progress that we're talking about was made in our lifetimes. We were there for it. We contributed in some way. We fought for in some way. We benefited in some way. <sighs> that stuff happened in our lifetimes. We watched it. We watched it no longer be illegal to be gay. We watched it <sighs> no longer be illegal to get married. We watched it no longer be okay to genocide our, in, our people. We watched representation be accepted. We watched ourselves be valued in society. And to see that pendulum swing, it's difficult to describe what that feels like. It's truly difficult to understand what that feels like. To, to, to see that pendulum hit that arc and start coming back. Because you're standing there, looking right at it as it comes. It's terrifying. It's, it's terrifying. To see three, four, five decades worth of work. Yeah. <laughs> Burner. <laughs> uh, we have conservatives calling LGBT an ideology because it went too strongly political and tied to the left. Yeah. I, I, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> we watch people forget how dangerous white nationalists are, uh, a la Oklahoma City bombing. Yeah. Good old Timothy McVeigh. Uh, it twists me up in knots because, uh, uh, inside because I was a part of it all. It's this crazy, uh, chicken lady mama. It's, uh, yeah. I, I, Deirdre, it's terrifying. It is. It's, it, if you're above a certain age to see this binary swing, happen to see this backslide is so bothersome it's so disheartening this one's on the zoomers you will you will receive square I agree Zoomers, listen to me. Listen to me. If you're a Zoomer and you're here, listen. <laughs> we don't have another fight in us. Gen X and Gen uh, and Millennials, we don't have another one in us. We can support. We can fight from the sidelines. But this one's on you guys. It's your time. It's time to fight. Oh. We're we're sick. We're old. We're beaten back. 
we'll be there. We'll give moral support. We'll give financial support. We'll give, you know, resources. We'll, we'll be sources of fonts of wisdom and, and, you know, uh, excitement for as best we can. You know, when you, when you go by in the street, we'll toss food and bread to you in the street. But you, you, you Zoomers, this is your fight. And if you don't fight it, I can tell you firsthand what it looks like. It's not pretty. It looks like hundreds of thousands of you dying. I'm not exaggerating. Like, I'm not exaggerating. I lived through the AIDS crisis. They will let a plague sleep, uh, sweep through your community and do nothing about it. They will let as many of you die as possible without even blinking an eye, without lifting a finger. They will kill all of you if they want. You have to pick up this fight and fight it, Zoomers. Because if you don't, no one else will. The, the older ones don't have it in us anymore. This is every revolution starts with, with college age kids. And they'll be happy to do so, exactly, Beast. Every revolution starts with college age kids. It's how, it's, it's how it works. The founding father, this is, uh, fa fathers of this country were fucking children when they started. They were children. They were teenagers in early 20-somethings. <sighs> Zoomers aren't going to do it. I'm worried. I'm worried that Zoomers aren't going to do it. They think TikTok is a means to action. They think putting hashtag BLM on a Twitter profile is support. Oh, I worry. Oh, I worry. I brought this up on TikTok. Gen Z taking the flag and running with it. And you should have seen the bushel of deflections. Yep. Twerking video with hashtag LGBTQ rights is not direct action. We sat through online schooling. We can't pay rent. So then go sit in the street. Tech support. Take your fucking... I'm sorry, tech support. I'm going to be as brutal as possible. Where the fuck are they then? They had some of the lowest turnout numbers for Bernie. They have some of the lowest fucking protest uh, turnouts. They have some of the lowest, lowest, lowest. Their direct action is shit. Fucking like they, they don't. There's no coordination, no organization. They're fucking they allowed their fucking the, the their the one movement of their generation turned into a tens of million dollar scam like where is it then where is it show me something show me something prove me wrong man prove me wrong just show me something They're not even good at black block. Too little, too late. 
Union organizing is too little too late. It's about improving worker conditions under a capitalist modality. It's too little too late. I'll be upfront about it. <laughs> organizing unions would have been great 60 years ago. Big deal. Prediction? Square, that's what that's what I'm truly concerned about. Prediction? Here you go. Tech support. You, I, I don't do predictions. Here's prediction. Union organizing leads to better pay and more, uh, a little bit better pay and a little bit time off that gets us a little bit back to like, let's say the 1980s version of uh, pay compensation. That will make them comfortable and sated and they will stop fighting. 100%. System, the system will give them a pittance and they'll shut up. Look at the unions of now. Little bit of bread, little bit of circus. It goes a long ways. And that's just human nature. That's nothing even against their, their generation. That's been tried and true through multiple generations. That's my concern. <laughs> they need to be way angrier than they are. They need to be way more active than they are. They need to be in the streets. They need to be in the streets. Like, constantly. Dude, if you're fucking 18... I'm sorry, if you're 18... Lexi, fuck Stonewall. We need some... Stonewall Plus Plus Ultra. What's up, kid? Kiev. Um, yeah, super ultra mega plus plus Stonewall. Yeah, yeah. If you're like 18 or 21, what else do you have to do? I'm sorry. Like, don't don't come at like I. Mythic. Yeah. Stonewall turned up to 11 like a motherfucker. Burner. Preach. Preach, right? In When seconds count, the cops are minutes away at best. Fucking learn to take care of yourself. I, I It freaks me out. It freaks me out. Dude, they should be in the street every fucking goddamn day. Yeah, to be 18 or 20 again. Right, Puka? Dude, you can survive on nothing. You can survive on nothing. Lexi, right? I'm not seeing... I'm not seeing the action... Gen Z's walking dogs. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Square. You're not wrong. I, I... Once people are at the com uh, at, uh, just at comfy, the motivation stops. I... Yeah, that union organizing is just going to lead to inaction. Calling it now. Calling it now. Viva, if I, if I would just be 20, I'd be all your guys' getaway driver. Uh, or cop <laughs> Gen Z here is a bit different. When I think of Gen Z, I think of trans marches mostly or copious drugs. Um, so the copious drugs lines up at least.
I have concerns. I never can. I figure it was never came back. <laughs> it's okay, burner. It's okay, burner. I can figure it out. I can. I can put two to two together. I got you. I got you. <laughs> My generation left our rural home in Germany. The resistance against the Nazis was over and never came back. Um, sh- shitty drugs like lean. Um, the Chuds want violence and it's a perfect storm. Gen Z won't fight. Uh, Viva sure about that? <laughs> yeah, dude, the Nazis are there. Um, Look, I'm an old man. I'm a fucking boomer and a half. All right? I'm broken. I'm jaded. I'm cynical. Right? I, 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 I deny none of that. I deny none of that. I own every last criticism that you could level at me. Actually, no, I'm, I'm an elder millennial, uh, Zippy. I am, I am literally the oldest millennial. Um, I'm, not on, I'm not a cusp. I'm, I'm just the oldest millennial. I'm a millennial. Um, I don't think how do I want to word this I am concerned that the level of action that is necessary to create the true systemic change that is required in this system at this present moment, given the reaction from the um, conservative and the, uh, and the system, it's the conservative element in our society and the systemic element of our society. I'm afraid this is fear. I am afraid that the ones who are necessary who start revolutions historically. This would be Gen Z right now, who is of that age group are not up to the task for a variety of reasons. We could sit here and debate and discuss that it's, it's fucking TikTok, It's ADHD drugs. It's a lack of education. It's X, Y, and Z. None of that matters. I'm terrified that the group that historically bears the responsibility of picking up the mantle of revolution is not up to the task this time. And that freaks me the fuck out. Because they're coming for us. They're coming hard. They're coming fast. They, they've laid a groundwork that is decades deep. You could argue hundreds of years deep. And it's going to be measured in deaths. It's going to be measured in lives ruined. It's going to be measured in devastation. at a yurt in Topango, California. Uh, did you know a yurt is actually the the all of, up to the, uh, the 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 traditional ceremonial uh, ring around the uh, the stay, and that the 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 building itself is not actually called a yurt. Just FYI, um, we colloquially in the West, of course, refer to them as yurts. I re- recently stayed at a yurt in Topango, California. The children of the host, the 17-year-old surfer kid, his 19-year-old sister, were talking to me in Ben Shapiro talking points and using the term liberal agenda, and the kids in the 90 liberals are fascists. It is. It is called a gur. And speaking of which... Yes, the yurt is the property. It's 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 the entire enclosure of the like sort of almost religious space. It's a sacred space, but yeah, the the building is a gur. Um, oh 
what I have to say is that uh, to that is the generation tasked with revolution was never up to the task, but when necessity occur, uh, occurred, they rose and exceeded themselves. Viva, viva. It's all we can do is hope, right? Um, I'm freaked though. I'll tell you, I'm freaked. It's getting bad over here. MLK didn't warn about liberals for no reason. <laughs> Cheshire, you ain't fucking lying. Um, hope and educate. Hole, hole and educate. Uh, hope and educate. It's going to get weird. I, I. Yeah. Uh, so acceleration is theory dive. That's the vibe I'm picking up, though I'm not claiming to be good at that. Um, if we can hold them off for another decade, we can get the, the generation under the, uh, the, the Zoomers. I mean, it's an option. They might just be fucking pissed enough. Yeah. Generation Alpha sounds very brave new world. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Alphas. Uh, alphas, betas. What was it? Was it alpha, betas, deltas, lambdas? I forget the fucking cast hierarchy from Brave New World. It's been so many years since I read it. Um, they skipped a bunch of letters. I remember that. Um, what? Good on you, Kaiser. Congratulations. <sighs> Kaiser is my only hope, by the way. I'm not kidding you. Kaiser, Kaiser is my only hope. He's, he's a Zoomer who gets it. Who's, yeah, yeah, my only hope. I'm not kidding you. Sorry, Kaiser, to put a lot on your shoulders. But, like, um, yeah, he's he's the, fir he's the first Zoomer I've seen that, like, truly gets it and does it. Yeah. There's not many. But he knows others. So there's more than one. There's more than one. He's not the only one. So that, that means there's more than one. But, like, for real. There's not many walking around. Ugh. It's, it's rough out there. <laughs> you were the chosen one. Uh... Hey, uh, uh, Kiev. Sorry if I'm butchering your name, but thank you for the follow. Uh, <laughs> B will be one. Kaiser no B. He's my only hope. Alpha, beta, gammas, deltas, and epsilons. Epsilons were the DoorDash drivers. Below them were the savages. Thank you. Thank you, Square. Thank you, Square. Um. <laughs> DoorDash drivers. Oh, <laughs> oh, we're fucked. <laughs> we're fucked. Uh, um, no, I, yeah, no, yeah, they were the door dressed, but the, I, I'm just the fact that we have a modern, an actual modern. Um, <laughs> uh, I've always argued. Uh, I've always argued that it was 1984 plus Brave New World. That it wasn't one or the other. It was. It wasn't either or. It was. It was both. Yeah. You know they corresponded, right? Aldous, uh, Aldous, and Eric. For those of you who don't know, George Orwell's real name is Eric Blair. 
um, Aldous, uh, Aldous Huxley, Aldous and, um, and Eric wrote letters to one another. They corresponded and they like compared notes and sort of like argued a little bit about, you know, well, I think you got this wrong, that sort of thing. It's great. They're a digital generation tech support. This is okay. So tech support. Here's where my. This is why I think Alpha may be the, the one, the chosen ones, is because the the rates of digital saturation, seem to be going down with millennials. But it isn't at like a critical point with Zoomers. I think Alpha, may actually the the Alphas may pull back, from like social media saturation. If they pull back from digital saturation, then a lot of the propagandization and mechanisms of modern society would be, they'd be vaccinated against it automatically. They'd just be immune to it. That would be, hey, thank you from somebody. I don't, I, I, I anonymize. <laughs> I anonymize, but thank uh, thank you from somebody. Um, it's appreciated. Um, yeah, I... I... <laughs> Kaiser, that's exactly the kind of thing that actually gives me hope. <laughs> it is. It takes, a, it takes edge runners. It takes deviants. It takes weirdos. Dude, to be able to say... Fuck all of this, and I'm willing to risk it all to upend society and existence and build something else from scratch if necessary. Dude, that takes a real fucking weirdo. That takes a real fucking weirdo to be able to do that. It's that sort of personality that, that actually does give me hope. Yeah, for sure. So... Uh, you know, yeah. If the Zoomers can't get it done, we just need to hold off for Alpha and maybe they can get it done. Because I don't think Zoomers are going to get it done, y'all. I don't. Puka, hey, I'm a weirdo. Uh, yes, you are, Puka. You're, you're a weirdo. <laughs> uh... She mutters that. <laughs> uh, I I don't I don't think we have that much time either. I don't. Oh. Um. <sighs> we need monkey wrenchers. We need everything, Square. We need everything. This is, this is, I always liken it to a mixing board. We can't be pushing any one slider. We need to push all of the sliders. If one resists, then you stop pushing and you push another slider. We need to push all of the sliders on the mixing board. Not one, not two, all. We need a grassroots, ground up, multifaceted, like autonomous distributed attack. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you again, someone. Thank you kindly. Um, Viva, you're right. God, you're right, Viva. I hate you for being right, Viva. Uh, I hate you, Viva. Viva's right, everyone. If Zoomers don't get it done, Viva believes uh, they can rise to the occasion. I still have my doubts. But if... The Zoomers don't rise to the occasion, then 
it's on to the rest of us to throw ourselves one last time into the gears of the machine. Oh, another fight, y'all. Dude, we're going to be, dude, we're going to be out there in the fucking streets with fucking asper cream and shit. Yeah, like we're gonna be like, do you have your do you have your eight hundred meg ibuprofens? Everybody, don't forget your knee braces. Fucking oh, I got the asper cream. Fucking dude, we're gonna be fucking old man protesting that shit, <laughs> dude. Fucking uh, yep, yep. You're right, Viva. You're right. I got the biofreeze. <laughs> We're not even going to bother running from the cops. We're just going to sit down. <laughs> what happened in us? <laughs> Fuck that. Aren't any of you going to try to run? Nah, just haul us in. <laughs> uh, anyone got Tiger Bomb? Uh, <laughs> dragging our oxygen tanks in a tow. The dollop of zinc cream on our nose. <laughs> Again, we're just going to old man. Motherfucker. Oh, sit in protests. <laughs> Midlife Kaisers. Oh, man. <laughs> His haul is in. We're done. Do you have gluten free hammocks? Oh, God. Bruce braces and essential oil ointments. <laughs> oh, it's just, you know? Yeah. I mean,. <laughs> Oxygen tanks plus rubber bullets equals, oh god, the cops are going to get retrained fucking quick. Oh, fucking A. I got, dude, I, I, don't, I don't have like the old distance runs in me anymore. I could still probably sprint a clip, but I could probably get a, a like a, a couple blocks of a sprint in me. Orthopedic shoes. <laughs> what do you mean I should get up? If I'm sitting, I'm sitting, officer. Uh, we'll be in the same camps as our heroes. The Pixies will perform for us in our sections. There's a funny YouTube short about old head gangsters still on the streets. Uh, wither, that only matters in the places that matter. I gotta tell you, there's places that we need to just cut our losses on. When you're in a war there are certain fronts of the battle that you just surrender and you you recede from you could potentially hold that you could potentially hold a line on your on your left flank right but you're getting hammered and your your supply lines are run thin and so what you do is you just bring in your supply lines protect them on the uh, on the recession right you and then you bring your you collapse your line inwardly and you you dissipate them and you just concede that area of attack we need to start accepting that in some areas texas is gone florida's gone why bother why are we fighting there that it's it's texas maybe maybe florida's gone florida's gone and places like bumfuck alabama and mississippi and arkansas and georgia and tennessee and west virginia Right? Like, why are we fighting these fronts? It's not worth our resources. We should be concentrating on places that either the battle can be won or places or reinforcing areas that we already are a stronghold. That way we can create the dual power structure. We, we just need a railroad out for the people who need it. Yeah. Long retreat back to Portland. Yeah, that's why I'm just saying to stay, uh, uh, just stand to get, help get the kids out. Says, uh, says uh, Lady Momo. Um, dude, square. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, I didn't see the movie though, but yeah. I, you know, yeah, that you just.
Uh, Alex, you're not in a position for the f- number one thing we can do. Everything below the Mason Dixon line is effectively gone. Deirdre, I'm, I'm in that camp. Yeah, just cut it. Just cut it loose. Sherman should have finished the job, by the way. Um, <laughs> Oregon isn't perfect either. Head a couple of hours east and everything gets really banjo-y. Um, um, Alex, the number one thing that we can do as a generation is attempt to build resources. We need to, we need to build resources. We need to build networks and resources to be able to get like people like Wither out, right? People like Wither who are like, dude, I'm stranded here. All right, let's get them out. We need jobs. We need businesses. We need shit that is infrastructure that we can just use. That we can be like, yeah, I can get you a job. What? Yeah, we can get you relocated. Right? I can get you a place to temporarily stay. Logistics. Yes. Beast is correct. Logistics is the power of the old. Battle is the power of the young. We need to be the logistics. We we understand how this system works. We understand what is needed. We understand that, that like we need to be the logistics side of things. The youngins need to be out in the street fucking fighting their tits off. Um, Alex, all of them are live on the, uh, on the channel. All of them, uh, yeah, Alex, all of Rules for Radicals is done, and it's live on the, the playlist. So. Um. <laughs> Marcus, when I moved to Virginia, I wanted to make a t-shirt with Sherman's face on it, with respect my northern heritage on it, but I'm not trying to die in redneck country. Ah, okay. Zippy. Zippy. What do you need to get that done? What do you need to get that done? What 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 would what is necessary for that to occur? Oh, no worries, Alex. Some people is the other way, blah blah blah. Yeah. Zippy, if you have property. How is New Mexico doing, though? Is New Mexico doing any of that trans-abortion stuff? Setting up an underground railroad system and prepping BIPOC communities for a Black Friday event in Atlanta, LA, and South Carolina. Oh, uh, Atlanta, Louisiana, and South Carolina. Is there anything attached to that? I won't. Um... Abortion is legal at the state level. We got it last year. Weed and college this year. Uh, New Mexico is like Vermont. Very blue and very poor. All right. Cool. Um, all right. Well, then. Money. Zippy. Can be worked around. S- sweat equity is a thing. And we have people in our community that can put in sweat acti- a sweat equity. It also has a septic system, a few acres, and irrigation rights. Okay. So. Somebody like Beast. There's people in our community that can build things. That have construction experience, that are the crafty, right? That know how to swing a hammer. Hell, I'm one of them. I'll come down for a fucking week or two. Um. All right, wheels are turning. Wheels are turning. Can we set up a channel in Discord for people's locations who are willing to take in youngins? Uh, Alex, we'll talk about it. Uh, Lady Momo, I have someone with loads of construction experience that can teach. Yeah. 
that's it's fucking just you do that alone. I was like, Nyah. what did Deirdre say? Hate not heritage. Electricity is the first hurdle. After my dad fucked up the house, the electric uh, electricity company pulled the lines. Okay. All right. Zippy, have you talked to the electrical company? What would it take? Do you know what it would take? It's got water, right? It's got a well. <laughs> People, okay, let me rephrase. People who are willing to temporarily house fleeing queers. Better. Yeah. Um, better. We'll talk about it. Um, all right. I'm too sick and not in full mode to be able to like process some of the like multi-dimensional variables that my brain is saying I should be processing. But I like where we're headed as a community. I like where we're headed. Um, hmm. Whether it's, dude, Wither, just learn, Wither, if you know anybody who knows how to build stuff, ask them to teach you. Like, ask to hang out. Part of the property that has the well and the septic is my dad's property and the one that needs the electricity and the rest is owned by my uncles, but they've been begging to sell it to someone. My dad and I are stubborn as fuck. Aspen, I know wiring, construction, plumbing, and most importantly, how to talk to city fuckers to make them happy. Dude, zoning and planning permissions, right, Aspen? Planning permissions. Dude, planning permissions are a motherfucker. Um, all right. And there is YouTube videos for every, everyone and everything. Fuck permits. Yeah. To county road way out. It's just fucking... Same, same difference. <laughs> Fucking bureaucrats, bureaucrats. Um, Deirdre, good, amazing. By the way, if we could get, if we could set up a few people in our community like if we could create systems in our community crix is the carpenter yes crix is a carpenter um here there here there sort of situation where we can Marcus. Oh, we're going to need your skills. Um, Anarcho Locksmith reporting in. Noted. Um, if we could have three or four um, places where people in trouble could get to. All right. All right. Okay. I like where we're headed. I'm, um, <laughs> no, it isn't Viva. Um, we're going to revisit this. We're going to revisit this. We, even if we concentrate on one and then two. What the fuck? Where are you, Square? Square, where the fuck are you? Um... I got 40 acres in northern Nevada that we could use... But it's fucking bullshit land. 
but I got 40 acres. We can, I will literally just, there's nothing on it. It's the middle of the goddamn desert, but I own it free and clear. Um, you fuck Northern Nevada. Exactly. Aspen. Exactly. Like I fucking, it's, it's close to like agricultural land somewhat. No, 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 fuck it, no, Aspen. <laughs> okay, are you kidding me? Um, it is close to like some agricultural shit up there, though. Um, but I mean, I'll throw it in the pile. Beast, tank it. There's no well on property. It's never been drilled. Got 40 acres in Nevada. Oh, do we already have terraforming technology? Um, so, hey, Redline. Um, okay, I like where our heads are at. Is that where Black Hammer set up? Uh, not quite. Um,. Square, same, no power, no water on the 40 acres here, just old abandoned dirty structures and lots of snakes. Okay. Um, Kaiser's dad helps manage a charity that helps repair housing for underserved communities around the Portland area. Land back. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, fucking Black Hammer. That was an op if there ever was. All right. We're going to pursue this. Did you guys any chance get a mule to your 40 acres? I did not. Uh, so we got three places. Yes. Um, We're going to pursue this. We're going to pursue this. This is, this is, this is, this is our community's purpose. We have a purpose now. We have a purpose. We're fucked. This country's fucked. I saw, I saw, uh, Lady Momo, I saw. Duly noted. Um. We're fucked. This shit's getting weird, it's getting scary, it's getting dangerous, and there's going to come a time when we're going to need to, like, straight up underground railroad some motherfuckers, probably. And who better than a bunch of fucking ne'er-do-well weirdo outsider anarchists to do it? Like, we give a shit. All right. All right. Young mothers, young, young young pregnant girls who have been raped by their incestuous fathers who need to be fucking shuttled to nowhere uh, out of the state so they can get an abortion and not ruin their life with their fucking inbred baby daddy brother fucking kid fucking queer queer kids that would end up with fucking car batteries hooked up to their nuts yeah we got we got purpose Aspen has a big ass house with lots of room <laughs> tech support tech support the Dell M thing we will be looking at we will be looking at yes, sir. <laughs> last mission of Halo Reach <laughs> survival is the main goal right now it's like the last mission of Halo Reach um yeah we have purpose now we have purpose now this shit's getting weird all right I'm going to call it there because I need to get more calories in me and I need to just keep, I need to keep chugging. I need to keep chugging ahead, right? Or else I'm going to wither away to nothing. Um, oh yeah, Alex, I'm, I'm still fucked. Um, <laughs> thank you, Zippy. Um, I know, right, Caboose? That's my, like, yeah. Like, I'm losing weight. I can't afford to lose muscle. Um, all right, y'all. I'll see you tomorrow. Just gonna pull that one. 
just in case. <laughs> uh, Operation Fleeing Queers has begun. Uh, yeah, we will we will be continuing this conversation behind the scenes and in the scenes. So. catch you all later i'm not gonna raid you out i'm just gonna I'm, I'm just gonna i'm gonna release you into the wild yeah i'm, I'm gonna try deirdre i'm gonna try so y'all take care of yourselves and tomorrow 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 operation fleeing queers has begun bye everyone